in the first place. So friendship is the first thing. Friendship is, and you see, a lot of guys won't receive Isho when they are friends. It's because, so let me give you an example. For Basque and I, we were friends. So Basque didn't really, really, really propose, propose like that. He claims he did, but, you know, in, the, in women's book, he's not really a proposal. We were friends. So my guard was down. If Asuke had come, because you must understand, I also have, there are some things that women have. They have these idols in their head of the kind of guy they want to marry. He must be a certain way. He must be tall, dark, handsome. So all the short, fair, ugly guys who marry them. He must have six-pack. So people that don't have six-pack, if they have three and a half, won't you manage? So, you know, I, I had my own ideals i had my own idols in my head of what i wanted and they were more what i didn't want than what i wanted okay i didn't know what i wanted exactly but i knew what i didn't want so i knew that i didn't want to marry a pastor that was totally out of the question it was not even negotiable so if you are a pastor a lay minister a minister there's a way you'll be nearing ministers or sitting around ministers i don't want because i just felt i'm not a pastor's wife i can't deal i can't be like pastor and be smiling and instead of you and all those things I barely have enough energy for myself to be chasing people. I just had my own issues. I'm like, I can't deal. Secondly, I didn't want to marry an Igbo man. I was definitely not doing that. So for one, Igbo men to me, I felt they were arrogant. And even though they say they take care of their wives, I think they take care of their wives so they can boast. So I just had all those things in my head. Not necessarily true. But you know, you just have some things that you have picked up over the years and Satan has helped you to crystallize. So I had those things. And... Igbo people, once it's December, like this, wherever you are in the world, they start planning village. And me, I am such a city girl. God, I cannot deal with village. I cannot go to a stream. Mosquito cannot bite me. I cannot sit down in village meeting. I cannot greet the whole world. There were just a lot of, it's stressful. And then they will go from house to house. When they come back in December, go from house to house. Let's go and greet Auntie this. Let's go and greet. I'm like, I'm stressed. I don't have enough greeting to go around. I'm like, this is so stressful. <laughs> August meeting, they will plan. I, I can't. I don't, I, I can't. I can't function like that. So I say, I'm not married, boy. Let me just marry your bad boy. There's not a power for this. Like, Let me just stay where I am. You know, they bought me in Lagos for a reason. So I had all those things. And I definitely didn't want to marry a man that was hairy. I didn't know that beard gang will rain now. That time. So I said, me, I'm very hairy. If you see me, ha. I said, if you go and marry somebody that is hairy, I'm not going to I can't deal. <laughs> I cannot deal. Then we, I want to bath my baby. I will be opening the hair to look for where to... I said, no, I can't do this. I honestly can't do this for myself. Ah, I said, tell yourself the truth. Your hairiness is enough. Your children will be fine. See, it's, it's, it's a makeup that's making me... That not, my hair used to dry here. We now use eyebrow, all these things. So I said, no, I can't do this. I honestly can't do this to my children. And really, if you see my son, David, David has a beard. I was telling me the other day, see, mommy, see, my beard is coming. I said, my brother, you're five years old. You better tell that beard to be going up. So I knew I didn't want that. I didn't want a man that was hairy. And I didn't want a man that was fair. Pasuke used to be very fair. It's not now that uh, Nigerian son has dealt with him. But when I met him, he was very yellow. He was a yellow Igbo boy. So I just knew that, mm -mm, this can't work. So he didn't come to me and say, oh, I like you, I want to have something. No, if he did, the, 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 the sword that I used to cut him, I kept it somewhere. I held my nail. So they, there was no way, if he had come that way, that I would have ever been, my God would have been so up, I wouldn't have agreed. And I was even in a relationship. So there was no way I would have even said anything to him if he had brought that leg. So he came as a friend. And the first couple of times we talked, we talked about the relationship I was in. He kept talking to me about it. Are you sure you're in love with this guy? Are you sure? I, mean, I thought the pastor was giving me counsel. Actually, the pastor was finding information for himself. <laughs> of course, that's not really how it happened, Shabbat. But, you know, a lot, of, a, a lot of things go wrong when people have all those. And because I had all those idols, I knew that if this guy had come like he wants to marry, there's no way I would have married this guy. There's no way. So he came as a friend, and God helped me to relax because every single thing I did not want, ta da, <laughs> is right here. And I thank God that he came as a friend because if not, I would have missed. Because you will hold on to those things you believe. 
I don't want to marry from this place. I don't want, hey, me, I can't even marry soldier. God forbid, do you know whether it's the soldier that will be a soldier of the Lord that will carry you about? There's a way God can work these things. So, you know, being friends helped us. From, from the beginning, I let my guard down. He knew, ev- it was so interesting that I'll be my friend. He knew more about me than the person that I was engaged to. Because we started that relationship on, I want to marry you. And I looked at it, okay, favor me, Yoruba boy, doctor. The cuckoo said I cannot give birth. The difference is, I just analyzed the thing. One plus one is equals to two. So this works for me. Born again, Christian loves the Lord. Let's be moving. When Pastor K came with his friendship, you know, it made things easy for me because I didn't, I didn't think about my. So by the time I was now ready to move to the next level, we, we were so close. He knew everything about me. There was, I didn't need to form anymore. There was no, you know, when it, somebody asks you to be in a relationship with them, there's, there's something that just goes up. You don't want them to know everything about you. You know, at least, let's be going small, small first. Let's get to the other. When we marry, we now surprise them after the wedding. No. So by the time we got married, first week into our marriage, he was asking me, is this how, I wish sure we are doing marriage. Because it's supposed to be harder than this, Navi. I said, I don't know. They said we should just go together and be living in the same house. Well, we're doing that. So I kind of think we're married. I'm not really sure, but I don't think there's anything we're doing wrong. So we were friends. And that friendship is what has sustained us even now. Because children will come, they will go. When we had issues with having children, I waited for eight years. We were friends. So it wasn't a case of, hey, my husband, will my husband go outside? Will my husband, what's that? It's our problem. If I'm crying, you better be crying or be comforting me. Is that, you know, so we, we were so close, that close. And that's what has sustained us more than anything. Is it that has never offended me? Of course not. But a friend loves at all times. When someone is your friend, it's easy to forgive them. When someone is your friend, you get along. When someone is your friend, there's nothing you won't do for them. If there are things that you're, you're in a relationship now, there are things, or you have, you're married, there are things that your husband is doing to you. It's not half what some of your friends have been doing to you since, but they are still in your life. Why? Because you're thinking friendship. Friendship. 